We know that students who are able to speak fluently and become literate in their first languages often do better um, at school and in life generally. Uh, so clearly having an opportunity for them to do that is, is important. I think as we are growing uh, young people who are going to be um, members of their, their families and lead their families and their communities in the future, having uh, that sense of connection to their ancestors, to be able to speak to, communicate with and identify with um, their families, both in Australia and, and overseas, grandparents. Um, that brings a whole sense of, of connection and belonging and, and confidence. And it also, I think, builds a sense of um, purpose and and connection with the school for families um, within the wider community. It makes school more relevant. Um, it's not just about what kids do here between nine and three, it's actually, um, it becomes more of a, a community centre. Diversity that we have in our multicultural Australian society uh, is sometimes uh, a little superficial and uh, the deeper understandings that the community language school can bring as far as uh, not only just language background but also cultural traditions and, and histories is um, something that I've found very educative for myself in understanding my own school community. The benefits go both ways. Um, it shows um, how tolerant we can be. It shows that we can build resilience an understanding and acceptability of someone that is different to us, a culture that is different to us. And that is passed on to the children. We have children that attend the school Monday to Friday as part of their normal education, and on the weekend they'll attend one of the, the language schools here. So that has a benefit for them because they know the facilities, they know what should do, they become the role models for the students who come from other schools and utilise the facilities. And they're very proud of what we have to offer them at Granville Public School. Students who use the school, they're very familiar with the school. School is seen as not just somewhere you go Monday to Friday, but it's also a place that is seen as a learning hub um, that you visit. We found that those students who attend that school have a very uh, really strong feeling of familiarity and comfort here at the school in terms of the premises. They are then able to help other students um, in terms of their learning, but also just, you know, oh, they, here's where the toilets are and, and this is where the hall is and this is how you operate the whiteboard. And so it gives them some leadership as well. When we're looking at language uh, difficulties or learning needs, we've got someone else to refer to and to seek advice from. Um, often a student might display learning needs in the classroom, so we then ask their language teacher here at school and sometimes we also uh, contact their Saturday school teacher to see if they're displaying similar behaviours or um, learning behaviours on, on Saturday as well. So it's developing that relationship as well to make sure that we're teaching the whole child. Many of our girls are Tibetan and they come to our school and then they come to the Community Languages School on Saturdays. So it's really nice that we're able to help them with their learning of their language and learning of their culture so that it doesn't die. Um, while most of the students are primary school students, some of them will end up coming to McKellar. So there will be that, that nice connection. Um, the Tibetans are very concerned that their language and their culture um, will die unless uh, their students here in Australia um, are, are better versed in the language and the culture. So I'm really happy to assist the Tibetan community to be able to realise that and to be able to teach the, their younger people what's, what they value.